Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Let's talk about cracked cell chlorella and how they actually crack that cell and get it open. And let me tell you something, folks, it's one of the most common questions I get, no doubt. Okay, so first of all, why, why do we have to even crack open the cell? Well, you got to crack it open because that's where the nutrients are. And if you don't, you know, chlorella's got this hard outer shell. And if you don't crack it open and get inside at the nutrients, well, you know, you're just, you're not going to really absorb any of the nutrients. And that's that hard outer shell that's in chlorella that protects it from the environment, from radiation and all this kind of stuff and has allowed it to remain unchanged for all these literally billions of years on the planet. It's the first food on the planet was was chlorella. Now spirulina, totally different food. Cyanobacteria, really not a true plant. You don't have to crack it open. It's totally different. Spirulina, you have to. And actually, I tell you the truth, I see spirulina, chlorella out there on the market that's not cracked. I can't believe it because technically, well, I shouldn't say technically, it's illegal. The FDA says you got to have cracked cell chlorella imported and you can't import something that isn't cracked cell. But I see it out there. Anyway, what are the methods? Let's get into that. There's actually two ways of cracking the chlorella cell, and you, again, you do you got to open that thing up. I'll show you some pictures here of cells of chlorella before and after it's been cracked. You really got to you know you got to get in there with this really high you know magnification microscope and you know electron microscope and look at it and see it's hey, it's actually been cracked. But there's two different ways. One's called dynamil, and one's called pressure release. Let's tackle each one of those individually. The first method is called Dynamil. And a lot of companies are out there and they're promoting their Dynamil, they're special, they're the only ones who have Dynamil. Well, actually, we sell Dynamil and uh, there's other companies that sell Dynamil. Nobody owns that uh, technology other than there's a company in uh, Switzerland and they actually own the Dynamil process. Dynamil, uh, what they do is they take these little tiny glass beads and they put them in this gigantic tank okay it kind of looks like an iron lung type of thing right and then you put it in there and the chlorella spins and uh, it's got these little glass beads in there and they just hit against the chlorella and they crack it open that way it actually pulverizes it, you know just smashes it apart that's cracked cell chlorella I mean that's dynamo that's the dynamil method of cracked cell dynamo was originally developed in the 1970s to tenderize meat and then they used it for chlorella work great but then they came up with new technology it's the same like, thing it's one of these things you need to try it for yourself and decide but the other one is called pressure release let's get into that one okay pressure release uh, pressure release crack cell technology okay so I'm gonna tell you first of all um, you know we, we clean the chlorella really well really well but I'm gonna, these companies they didn't even patent a lot of their processes because they didn't they, they, you get once you patent it the patents out there somebody takes it they kind of steal it they change a few things and pretty soon you lost your patent so they didn't even patent it. it's just secret okay it's just secret the way they do it they've been doing it this way it's a formula and doing it for 50 years you know we're not telling anybody what's going on here so uh, they clean it really, really well, and then it's ready to be spray dried or turned into powder. So they run it down a tube, and, and it hits a chamber, and it's a really big chamber. kind of backs up. The pressure goes way up, and then on the other side, they got a small little hole, and it goes through. That creates a vacuum, and that cracks that open, the cell. Now, that's a much more organic way. Nothing comes in contact with it, because I said dynamil. You've got the little glass beads in there. Some people don't like that. They say maybe you're going to get some other contamination from something like that. Oh, I guess maybe it's possible. Again, we sell both. You know, I sell Dynamil and I sell Pressure Release. And you can make up your mind which one really works better for you. But you know, how you feel. You always know, got to take it for a while and see how you feel. But the pressure release does just that. You, know, you build up the pressure and then it goes into this vacuum and then in that it just cracks it open. It's very effective. And the other way, the dynamil kind of pulverizes it. So all the nutrients are kind of mixed up. This just cracks it open so the cell is, is still together and then your body can just absorb those nutrients. A lot of people say that's better. So there you go, the two methods of cracking open the chlorella cell. Uh, it's something we get questions on constantly. How do you do this? What's, what's dynamil mean? Well, I try to demystify things and let you know, here, here's one of the two most powerful foods in the world, chlorella, and you gotta crack that cell wall, okay? And this is how you do it. Dynamil, pressure release. Dr. Bob, see you guys next time. 
Well, as you know by now, if you watch any of my videos, spirulina and chlorella are just two of my greatest passions in the world. <laughs> kind of boring, right? Well, they're the two most powerful foods in the world, the only ones you can live on exclusively. So I made some other videos here. Hope you like them. Don't forget to subscribe. It's Dr. Bob. See you next time.